Hi, this is Wanda. And this is Paula from Alanda Craft. And today we're going to show you how to cut fabric shapes for your quilting projects using the Brother Scan and Cut. Now we've previously done a video on how to cut applique fabrics from applique from fabric, uh, and that's in the link below. You can go and see that video. But today we're going to concentrate on your quilting projects. That's right. So what you'll need is obviously a Brother Scan and Cut. You will need a standard mat. So make sure it is the standard mat. It tells you down the bottom here. You will need a fabric support sheet. Now depending on which scan and cut you purchased, you may have received these in your um, in the box, but if not you will need to buy, buy some of these. You will also need a drawing holder and some pens for it. Now these are the fabric pens. Okay, there are two different types. There are drawing ones and these ones are fabric ones. So what this means is these ones will come off um, I think it's after a couple of days. The come purple off. one comes off between 2 and 14 days, although we found on ours it came off within a few hours. Yep. The other one you'll need to remove with water yep. before you iron your fabric. Yep. And the last thing you'll need is obviously a blade, a drawing, uh, a blade holder with a blade. Okay, so let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is take our standard mat and we're going to remove the protective covering. So don't um, throw away this protective covering because you will need it when you're storing your mats you want to put this back on so we'll just keep that. Now this can be a bit tricky. Okay so what we're actually doing is adding the, the fabric support sheet to the mat because you need that when you're doing fabric for quilting. So if the glossy side down you notice here there's a glossy side and there's kind of this blue mat side. You want to put glossy side face down onto the mat. The mat should be sticky. Okay so we place this down. If you have two people in the house, this is a lot better. It will work a lot better. A lot easier. <laughs> yeah. So you just pop it down there like that and smooth it out. You don't want any bubbles in this. Okay. See how it's forming bubbles, bubbles already? already? It's like putting the cover on an iPad. Yeah. So you do your best. Don't worry if you do end up with at least, you know, with a couple bubbles. It just, we've found it still works, but see, that's not too bad there. Smooth it out. You can use your little spatula here to smooth it out if you wish, get the bubbles out. Okay, so once you've done that, now you need to peel off this blue uh, protective coating here. So again, lift it up and you'll see the sticky fabric sheet is under there. So if we peel that off now. Okay, so there you go. Now we've got that fabric support sheet is now attached to the standard mat. Okay, so now we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is a test cut. So this is just advisable, if you're going, especially if you're going to be cutting a lot of fabric, you don't want to destroy your fabric. So it's always good to do a little test cut first. So just grab a piece of your fabric that you're going to be using and place it on your mat. And just be aware these mats, um, you can put them in any way, that way or that way, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so just smooth that out. You can use your little spatula to do that, but I just prefer to use my fingers there. Okay, so let's bring the brother scan and cut over. And we'll turn her on. Okay. Okay, so when you see this, you just go OK. Okay, open her up. Okay, so I always load the mat first. Press that button there. Okay, now we go over to pattern. Tap on that one. And up here you'll see this little icon here, it says test. So we want to tap on that one. And then choose one of these. I just usually choose the square here. Okay, now don't worry about the height or any changes there. And I go set. All right. Now before I go any further, I just go in and make sure my settings are correct. Now for quilting, we found that these seem to be the best settings. So to do that, you click on over here on this little button here, the little spinner. And what you want to change from here, if we move these little arrows down, are these ones here. We like our cut speed at 1. The cut pressure, we have at 4. And that's all we changed there, I think. Yep. 
Okay, so make sure your cut pressure, it's important that your cut pressure is around that amount. It may um, change depending on the thickness of your fabric, but we found for quilting fabrics that four seems to be the best there. So you can go okay. All right, now our blade, we need to use one of these turquoise ones. We're just doing a test at the moment, so all we need now is the blade. And we like that set to four. Okay, so we pop that in. And lock it. And then we, now we're back here, we go OK. And then we want to cut. And away we go, press the button there. OK, finish cutting, OK. And we check the mat. And we'll see how that went. And there we go, that looks good. So that went well, so we didn't have any puckering or bubbling or you know dragging of the material, it cut it out quite well. So we'd be happy with those settings, so we're ready to go to the next step now. So now that our test cut is uh, just how we want it, we're going to put our fabric onto our mat. Now you'll notice that I'm putting it upside down, and the reason for that is that we're going to do a quarter inch seam, we're going to draw a quarter inch seam on the fabric around each of our squares, but I'll show you that as we go. Smooth it out, use your little tool, just to make sure it's all nice and attached. Now the first thing we need to do is to remove the blade, because we're not going to cut at this stage, we're actually going to draw our quarter inch seam on. So we take our other little holder and I'm going to use the purple pen into the machine. Now then, we need to, again, it always does that, and we're going to select our pattern, and this time we're going to select quilting, so these are the quilt patterns. I'm going to select this one here. So this is going to make a 9x9 nine nine square, but you can adjust it to whatever size you want. And you can see here it's broken down the square into the pieces that make up the square. I'm going to select the, the square, and it's already set for me. Now I'm going to do 9 of these. This here, it shows that I have my quarter inch seam already allowed. So I can take it off if I wish, but I want it there. Set. So you can see on the screen that I now have nine squares set out to be cut. So, okay, so we're all ready. We're going to load our mat. And we're going to draw. You can see that it's drawing the quarter inch seam allowance. It'll cut, that's where you'll sew, it'll cut the uh, material a quarter inch out. that little bit of thread that's got caught on there. Right, so you can see on here we have our nine squares all drawn. So now you can, if you want to, you can go and do the drawing of the next part. So by selecting the next part it'll take you back and you can select one of the triangles. But we're just going to finish and now we're going to cut. And be careful, you need to take out the drawing holder because it doesn't cut and place in your cutting holder. We'll just check that we've got it on the four, yes we do. There we go. 
So the machine does warn you if you haven't if you've got the wrong holder in, which is really great. So here we go. We have the speed slowed down because we find it does a nicer job for us. Uh, you can turn the speed up if you wish. I think we've got it on one. We have it on the faster speeds when we're cutting out card for scrapbooking. like everything you can play with your machine and, and with the settings and see what works best for you. As I say this is what works best for us. So there you can see I now have nine squares all with the quarter inch seam allowance so I'm just there you go so quick and easy way to do it I think you'll get a lot of use out of your scan and cut if you're using it for your quilting fabrics. There you go, and you can see your seam allowances there.